Hi kids. So in this video we'll discuss class 9 physics chapter 5 up thrust in fluids archimedes principle and flotation. For the previous video you can click on the i button or see the description box. Now in this video we'll see the mathematical proof that is up thrust is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by the submerged part of the body. We'll see the effect of up thrust, the factors on which up thrust depend. an archimedes principle so let's get started first we'll see the mathematical proof how up thrust is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by a body placed inside it by the submerged part of the body now suppose you take a beaker okay fill with water or any liquid take a cylindrical body completely submerged in water whose this is p q r s whose area of cross section is suppose a density of liquid over here suppose rho acceleration due to gravity we know due to gravity we take it as g Now look at it. Suppose this surface PQ is at a height of h1 from the surface, okay, and this is h2, the base, SR. Now look over here. On this surface, there will be a pressure P1. Suppose on the top PQ, pressure due to the water column at a height h1, P1. Will be h one rho g. We have done it in the previous chapter. Pressure at a depth h one or h is h rho g. Similarly, there will be a pressure p two acting upward, isn't it? So p two p two will be what h two rho g. No doubt in that. Because this is h two. Now, so. What is the downward thrust over here? The downward thrust, downward, downward thrust. Thrust is what? Pressure into area. So P one, which is H one rho g into area. That's a. An upward thrust. This body will experience an upward thrust. Okay. The upward thrust. Which will be h two rho g into a. Now look at this. H two is greater than h one. No doubt in that. Which means the upward thrust is greater than the downward thrust. So the resultant up thrust, the resultant up thrust, up thrust, which is in upward direction, I can say is. Upward thrust minus downward thrust. That is h two rho g a minus h one rho g a, isn't it? Just take common rho g a and h two minus h one. Now look carefully. <laughs> The volume of this cylinder is area into suppose this is h area into h. What is H two minus H one? Look carefully, H. So area into H two minus H one will be nothing but volume of the cylinder. Okay, that is rho g into v. That is v rho g. If v is the volume of the cylinder of the body, then v is also the volume of the liquid displaced by the solid. Which is completely immersed in this case. So can I say that up thrust, up thrust is equal to <laughs> this is volume of the displaced liquid, volume of displaced liquid into density of the liquid into g. Now look carefully. Volume of displaced liquid into rho density will give the mass. So mass into g. 
and mass into g is nothing but weight which is volume uh, sorry up thrust you know is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by the submerged part of the body isn't it see we have taken a cylindrical body you can take any body the result is same that up thrust is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by the body it experiences an upward force up thrust due to which there is a loss in weight in what in in the liquid okay which means i can say what is the effect of up thrust then effect of up thrust we can say is loss in weight loss in weight inside the liquid inside the liquid so whenever a body is partially or wholly pura submerged into water there is an up thrust due to which there is a loss in weight we feel that it is lighter clear and from this expression we can see that up thrust depends upon the volume of the liquid displaced isn't it by the body by the submerged part of the body you can say the density of the liquid and the acceleration due to gravity at that place so up thrust depends on these three things g is almost constant so we can say v and rho am i clear so up thrust equals to weight of the liquid displaced and this is what is there in archimedes principle we we'll write the statement of the archimedes principle okay so from the discussion which we have done till now i can write archimedes principle what is archimedes principle see when a body when a body is partially partially or completely 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 immersed in a liquid immersed in a liquid it experiences it experiences experiences an up thrust and up thrust which is equal to which is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by it by the body that is your archimedes principle or the apparent loss in weight is equal to the up thrust on the body up thrust on the body this is what your archimedes principle is and remember when a body is completely immersed in water what happens it displaces the maximum value which means the maximum up thrust is when the body is completely immersed in water go see if the the object the body displaces this much of liquid the up thrust is what we just did v rho g now when the body is completely immersed in water what happens now this body displaces a larger volume so in this case up thrust again v rho g the capital v is greater than small v which means in this case it will be maximum up thrust done so this was your archimedes principle so in this video we'll keep it till here in the next video we'll do the next part of it till then take care and be safe and if you like the video do subscribe and share with your friend